Hey, so for this third video, uh, what I wanted to do was to give a look at an application that I use a lot called IPAC that. And what IPAC that does is it removes a lot of the drudgery of packing UVs together. Now, I know there are some artists who enjoy that kind of thing, and I enjoy the process of unwrapping my mesh, but I don't enjoy packing UV islands together. It's just very tedious and, and, and to me, boring. So it seems like the perfect thing to get the computer to do for me. And that's what I pack that allows me to do, to, to offload this computationally not intensive, boring, monotonous task to the computer, who can knock it out in no time. So uh, we're going to take a, a quick trip over to Modo to have a look at a sample mesh, uh, talk about UV packing a little bit, uh, and then we'll look at I pack that itself. So hang on. Okay, so here we are inside of Modo. Uh, I've pulled up this example mesh, which is just a bunch of you know, little mechanical doodads and that kind of stuff. Uh, the kind of thing you run into when you're doing prop work. right? You get lots of little pieces, lots of little UV islands, and you need to pack them together somehow on the UV map to get a decent bake out of it. Now on the left, you can see this is the existing uh, UV pack. Uh, there's also little, there's holes and things because I haven't really packed this yet. This is just kind of laid out quickly. So, um, to show you the difference here between the automated methods, uh, this is what Moto's uh, automatic packer would do. If I call up my custom menu here and I tell it to pack, and we give it a second, uh, that's what it comes up with. Uh, and that's workable. You know, you can bake a map off of that, but it's not really ideal because there's lots of white space and there's lots of wasted areas like, say, uh, in between this hollow this hollow piece here, the you know, middle part's not being used, same here, uh, it's not filling in holes, there's a big gap around the outside, you know, and there's values you can tweak to change all of that, but you're never going to get quite uh, perfect results. So I'm going to take this mesh and send it over to IPAC that, and I'll show you the difference. And here we are inside of IPAC that. Uh, you can see that I've got the same mesh loaded up from Modo, inside of IPAC that. And uh, that's really just a matter of exporting to FBX and, and importing from FBX. Or you can use OBJ as well, but I tend to use uh, FBX for everything because it makes it easier. So there's a lot of buttons over here on the left hand side and you don't really have to worry about uh, really any of them. <laughs> um, for a simple straightforward pack, uh, all you have to do is set your texture resolution right here. Uh, because that affects values down here like padding and margins and that kind of thing. Now, 2048 works for me, that's fine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run the pack and I'm going to speed the video up because you know, it can it can take a, a couple of minutes uh, to get this done and it's boring to sit here watch it in real time. So here we go. Okay, so we're back in Modo now, and you can see that I brought the mesh back in from IPAC that, the same uh, FBX round trip. And uh, you can see the space is much better utilized over here. You know, we're using the in-between spaces to pack islands, and everything is just much better distributed uh, across that UV map. Um, you can go back to earlier uh, in the video to see the comparison shot. It's uh, actually quite dramatic. So. Can you get this result by yourself? Yeah, absolutely. But um, honestly, you know, I think you have to ask yourself whether it's worth your time or not. And the odds are that it's not. Just, just let the computer do what the computer does. Mundane, boring tasks that require a lot of iteration. That's what a computer's for. So uh, in closing, uh, let me just say that uh, IPAC that has a few features that I didn't show, which are actually very handy. Uh, it's got the ability to group UV islands, like let's say you've got a mech with a bunch of fingers you want to be together on the UV map, just select those islands, uh, right click them, say it's a group, and they will appear together. Packed efficiently, but together on the UV map, which makes it easier on your texture artist. Uh, it also has something where 
let's say you're doing a suit of armor and you want the chest plate to be straight and vertical on the UV map because you've got some image you want to stamp on it or, or you know whatever the case is uh, you can do that too just right click and say this island can't rotate uh, you'll still get uh, an efficient pack but yeah, but that island will stay upright uh, for each one of those options you turn on you're you're hobbling the process a little bit because you know, you're limiting the IPAC that's options. But you know, in the end, sometimes you can't avoid it and you need to do those things. So it's really just a matter of finding the best balance for uh, your asset. So play around and see how it works out, right? Uh, you can get this on Steam. Uh, he's selling it in other places as well, I believe. Uh, but I prefer Steam because I like to have everything in one place. And I even think there's a demo on Steam, so try it. You got nothing to lose. Try it out and see if it enhances your workflow. It really enhanced mine. So um, with that, I'll leave you. Thanks.